we're going into a Xeno match review. This is from our homie Gek, who's here all the time. We appreciate oh so much. With uh, 4.7k hours. So a lot, a lot of hours. Almost five times the amount I expect most people to have fundament good fundamentals in Dead by Daylight. We're playing the Xenomorph, a very, very good killer, one that I know a lot about. Blah, blah, blah. Number, number, blah, blah, blah. Number, blah, blah, blah. Wrote the blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's me. E. Good person to ask. And uh, you're on Eerie, which is a... What is Xenomorph's worst map? It's, which isn't saying much, because it's almost every killer's worst map. <laughs> um, but it's especially bad on Xenomorph, because control station spawns are not ideal, and also the collision on this map has been infinitely bad since release. Um, so, obviously, uh, very tail-sensitive uh, move that you have in the tail attack. Not gonna be nice. Your demand. Thank you so much for the follow. I very much appreciate that. Hopefully you're doing well in the Monday zone. Hopefully you're ready for some match review shenanigans. Your map as a killer main? That's... I hope you're okay. <laughs> I hope you're okay. Particularly we on the perks. So these are some very puzzling add-ons. Um, Overmorph Egg makes sense. It's a good uh, learning add-on. Not one to get too addicted to because it teaches you a bad habit to stay out of your power and just kind of have that blow lessened by Overmorph Egg. Um, but still a fairly good add-on, especially for a brown. Very, very good brown add-on. Just don't get too addicted to it. Um, the Drinking Bird only increases the killer instinct that you get when you come out of the control stations and then it's not by a lot, so it's like... If you're gonna run another brown here, you definitely should have run sewer rations, um, which tells you uh, where turrets are placed while you're in the tunnels. Um, obviously the main picks here that you should be running if you have, uh, you know, add-on stacked on Xeomorph or Emergency Helmet, Lambert Star Map, or Self-Destruct Bolt, any combination of those works. But if you're looking specifically for cheap add-ons that are, are the lowest rarity, I would use sewer rations over Killer Instinct, or the Killer Instinct, the Drinking Bird. <laughs> Your build is good. Pain res pop, good combo. Agi to guarantee the pain res. Barbecue for info. Um, yeah, it's not like a bad build. It's just, you know, yeah, it's just, it's not a bad build. You got a nice comfort perk info and then, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I don't personally run barbecue on Xeno because I just prefer to rely on Xenomorph's base kit information instead of aura reading. Because um, usually the info you can get from um barbecue you can get within like four or five seconds of just being in the tunnels so that's not a whole lot of time to miss for a stronger perk slot or perk in that slot rather so that's just me though so take a look at the match itself getting a tunnel right away pretty good this is what you should do so you get your power right away and you can track some survivors immediately which I'm not waiting to see exactly where they are. Oh, why did you not hit it? Why did you look at it, walk by it, turn around, and then look at it again? And then smack it. Like, you had every possible chance in the world to hit that before it broke you out of your power. And it's almost like you intentionally ignored it. I have to explain that. I, I will be hard-pressed to find a reason that you can give that I will be accepting of, other than like, Hey, my kitchen was on fire. Hey, my cat was in front of the screen. Been there. <laughs> Uh, if it is a, any sort of like, oh, well, I had a game plan. I had a plan. The plan is a bad plan if it was intentional. Okay, well, I can't be here forever. There are other attributes to come. So we will get that response as we Walking screen never. It happened on this map, too. She's not paying attention. I had to rebuy my M1 to my M3. Wait, so you're like your your click. Your left mouse button just doesn't work. 
Is your mouse broken? Do I get a big a build request or something? You get a you get a build in general. Any character, any um, any build. Obviously, when I'm playing again, obviously I'm doing match reviews right now. But whenever I'm on killer. Hank, your pop! Hank! Hank, the pop goes the weasel! Hank! Four killers you like the least? There's some Haggard out front for you? I'd be, I'd be okay to do nurse like once. I found out that if I look down, or look away from the screen while she's doing the head shake thing, I can actually play her like at least once or twice a day. Um, hag. M1 killers in general, not as fun, but like, I don't really hate playing certain killers unless it's like, um, um, like Freddy or something where it's like literally one of the bottom three. Ghostface is one of those where it's like, oh my gosh. All right, through the rock? No. There was a gap between the gen and the rock and the flame turrets are line of sight base. So technically it had line of sight. Not a big Dredge fan. Not a huge Blake fan. If you're in a situation like that, where you don't think you're going to be able to get the lunge on the turret, just use your tail. Which is going to be most of the time, unfortunately, with no turret add-ons. With no turret on arms, that's unfortunately going to be most of the time. Why are you aiming so low? Max range, my lunge is not enough. It depends on where it is. So, like, if you're, if you're, like, if the turret's just, like, out in the open, un unobscured by anything, and you don't have any turret add-ons whatsoever, you should probably just go for the M2. But if it's like, you know, the turret was like around a corner or something, or you can like sneak up behind a rock and then pop out and hit it. Yeah. Because it's 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 a faster recovery. You don't suffer the move bit speed penalty with the tail. Yeah. But if it's like out in the open and you're just going to eat all of that, all those flame charges a whole way without a um, not a turret add ons, that is it's it's more than likely going to break you out. GG. Oh, huh? what demo? <sighs> we never made an inhale, but that was a short circuit. <laughs> that was that was fun to watch. GG. I mean, hi. <laughs> oh, it's funny though. <laughs> that was cool. Hopefully you're well. How are your stonks looking for your tail tax, by the way? Very sweet. Request from my ego to be fed. I like your little YouTuber. Yeah. Yeah, see, like, when you're in a situation like this, for example, where, like, well, you, if you had paid attention to that one, you probably could have got that one. So not exactly the best example, because you, if you had looked and prioritized, like, lunging and hitting that first, you probably actually would have got that. But um, it is a similar situation of, like, hey, you're just out in the open, you're going to be eating all those flame charges. Um, it was just safer to tail attack here. Talking to me, yes. If you'd done that lunge the moment you saw the turret, it would have been fine. See them talk? Hog you. Why are these guys just not paying attention? They're not even undetectable.
About tail tax? Yeah, where, what are your stonks? I knew you were grinding those. No, I was not, Grace. Need to play 3k. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, good catch on the spin. Yeah, that's another option, Cassie. They still would have got it if they, um, like I said, if they come straight out and went for the turret over the Meg. Yeah, they could have done that. Recover from it. You would have a good point. I'm actually sorry. One of my favorite things in streaming that both happens, like, that's it, that's what you did. How do I win at you? Hold on, sorry. Oh. Oh, really? That's it? Wow, I didn't think about that. Break your turrets the moment you see them. Thank you. Thank you. Your wisdom. That is so cool. It's the popcorn bucket from Alien Romulus from Cinemark. Although it's technically the protomorph from Covenant, but <laughs> I don't know why they use that head model, but hey. Oh, and you got the bug too. Deserved. Deserved. Gonna hit it first. It's the, the penance you pay. Also, you're holding your pop again. That gen was being worked on. When you just crawled by. Oh, that's not good. That means they're working on multiple gens. You can shoot over that. That little hump right there. Okay, she baits you. Okay, she just drops it in your face, never mind. <laughs> Good catch that she was there. And that. Uh, Yeah, most of the times you've had an opportunity to use pop, you have not. You have let it wind down. I tried the pop snare if you kind of can't afford it, like the sound on pop use. Because there's way less bang for your buck. Watching my YouTube video? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Plus, that was like the most subtle self advert ever, then good. Got me. That was awesome. Not even that, that was great. <laughs> oh, by the way, did you mention this? <laughs> oh, wow. Did you also mention my barbecue happening next weekend? Oh, no, really? I'm down for some brisket. Don't <laughs> think about that. You're good. I'm teasing. I also thought you mentioned something about saving 15% or more on car insurance. Oh, oh, I can switch to Geico. You're right. You're also aiming really low with your tail attacks. That's why they're colliding with the ground so much. You should be aiming at like center mass from like the top of their head down to like, like their waist. Like when you're aiming low with the Zoomer's tail attack, since it's so finicky with collision, nine times out of 10, you're going to hit the, the floor over the survivor. So you should aim center mass. Swim? Who's who's swimming? Why am I meeting them? Yeah, aim at like from like the head down to the waist, where your tail attacks will land, and not fly with the floor as much. Yeah, that that actively is. Why did she let you pop that? Oh my gosh! This is the most five head lore of all time. No offense to the player. Uh, that would not be today, Spongy. That would not be today. I will. We had 11 match reviews, so I'm likely not going to be playing more games after match reviews have concluded. 
When it's like a low volume week where there's only like two or three matches, usually I go back to games, but we still have quite a few more to go, so. Hopefully you can catch me tomorrow. Thank you. Sorry. I know it's not a big deal, but still, it's awkward. I don't like saying no to people. The people pleaser in me wants to crawl out of his skin. <laughs> no, I know nothing about the character art. I don't know anything about the Xenomorph. Why I pretend to know things about the Xenomorph has uh, not been revealed yet. I don't know. But apparently I like to make things up. So who knows? What is the goal? I'm not sure. it has been a big ruse for quite some time. Well, how I'm benefiting from it? I'm not quite sure, but it's working, whatever it is. Used to the games? That's why I, it, literally like most of my <laughs> most of my Chucky knowledge just comes from like knowing all the Chucky moods. <laughs> Especially like with Ghost where I like I mod, so I'm like there all the time. Yeah. I like the greedy play here, like ironically. Like if you had uh, like yeah, literally like if you aimed up, girl aim up. That's a that's an inside joke. But if like if you aimed up for like the last like four tail attacks, you're good. You down the lore earlier, you get this Meg here, like... As soon as you start doing that, you're gonna have so, so much better games. You're gonna have a great time. Like, literally, cause, like, you're, you're, you're no when to go for the uh, tail attacks. You're just aiming too low. So as soon as you adjust that, like, that... That instinct of when to go for the tail attack is gonna line right up... With your, uh... With your new, uh... Placement of where you aim the tail attack, and you're gonna be good. I don't know why she stayed if she wasn't gonna run back into the map. It's kind of silly. That's kind of goofy. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have a. People are like, <laughs> people are are sending in match reviews as we're reviewing these. I'm glad I put off the cutoff on that. <laughs> Because that would be... Woo! Woo! We just kept going and kept going and kept going. That would have been... Scary. we? Okay. So in terms of your main takeaways, Gek, um... First thing, don't let Pop wind down. And if you can't remember to use Pop, just use something else, like Grim, that goes off act, like, naturally while you're hooking people. No, 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 no! We do not use a crosshair! No! No Casimus Coconutus Juicidimus. We do not use a, a crosshair in this household. You know why? Because we already have one. Can somebody point out the crosshair in this image? Oop, it's right there. Realistically, the crosshair is like right here. But yeah, as long as you account for this like this little this little gap right here between that and the crosshair, we already have one. We already have one. You just got to aim like a couple centimeters up. Or like you get the point like slightly up and you're good and you're absolutely good yeah use uh main takeaway number one remember to use pop if you're not gonna remember to use pop just use something that's a little more autopiloty like you're already going for pain res with scourge you can run it with gift of pain grim embrace something like that that just goes off naturally that you don't have to think about using because you let that wind down a lot um like i said your instinct of where to go for tail attacks is good but where you aim them is far too low to actually land them. And that's why you're hitting the ground most of the time, because you're aiming too low. If you aimed up from like the waist up to the head, your tail attacks, you'd be hitting them. And then like, that was literally the difference in this game between like, uh, the killing and somebody getting out. So like, yeah. Aim a little bit higher up, aim at the center mass of the body. That way you can actually start landing those because you're going to be doing so much better it's it's very slight adjustment. It's 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 just like a mental note. Tuck that in your head, and it's just gonna change everything for the for the better. It's not it's not it, thankfully not too difficult of a change to make. Just aim slightly higher, um, so that should work in your favor pretty well. Um, other than that, you realistically played fine. A rough map, a lot of bad collision. Um, so it was mostly just you not getting the most out of your slowdown, and you uh, having uh 
not the best um, logic when it comes to aiming the fail attack. Yeah, also there's a lot of characters where aiming at the ground is like better, right? Because like, like Pinhead's a great example of that. Hitting the ground with the chain like helps you recover quicker. But Zmorph is definitely one of those where that is like not the case. You want to aim higher rather than lower.